Okay, um, in this video, we're going to work our way through another permutation problem. We're trying to slug our way through a lot of examples so we can get used to and comfortable uh, in dealing with this line of thinking, which reminds us that a lot of these videos, when we're posting them on YouTube, might end up being shotgunned all over the place. And if you found us on YouTube, you might find it more useful to go to the website at digital-university.org. There you will find all the videos are listed in their proper sequence. Also, um, at the website, there are hundreds of more problem-solving videos and different types of subjects that might be of help to you. Okay, here's a problem that we want to talk about. Let's say that we have these digits, 0, 1, Two, three, four, five, going on up to nine. So we have these ten digits, and the first question we want to ask is if we use these ten digits to form, say, seven digit telephone numbers, how many different ways can we do it, assuming that we can have zero at the beginning of? Well, one of our telephone numbers, for example, maybe zero five three dash whatever. If we can have zero being a leading number here among our telephone numbers, then how many different telephone numbers can we form? Well, this is now, as you probably remember from the last video, this would be like a permutation with replacement because we have 10 numbers to choose from, and of course, each time we use a number, that doesn't mean that it's not in use anymore. We can come back and choose it for the next number, and so forth. So, when we make the first, when we set the first number, we have 10 choices to choose from. When we select the second number, likewise, we have 10 choices to choose from. When we select the third number, we still have 10 choices to choose from. So by the time we get to the seventh number, there then is a total of 10 to the seventh choices. So how many ways can we form seven digit telephone numbers from these 10 different digits? The answer is 10 to the seventh. In this case, it's just 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. One, two, three, four, five, like this. Because each time we select a number, that number gets replaced again. So, for example, if we decide that two is going to be the first digit for the telephone number, that doesn't mean we can't use the two anymore. So, you can think of this as a permutation with replacement problem. So, each time we select a number, we have ten choices. So, if we do it ten or seven times, the total number of choices is going to be ten to the seventh. So, there are ten to the seventh telephone numbers that we could form using these 10 different digits. Let's ask this question. Out of this, this would be 10 billion telephone numbers, or 10 million telephone numbers. Out of those 10 million telephone numbers, how many of them have repeat numbers? Well, it's actually easier to try to answer the converse question. That is, if we have 10 million telephone numbers, how many of them have seven digits? Well, all the digits are unique. They're not, they're not repeated. And that question we can answer by using our permutation formula. We have 10 digits to choose from. We're going to select seven of them. So this would give us then, this would be the number of seven digit phone numbers where Each digit 
will say is unique. There are no repeat numbers here. Well then, the total number of telephone numbers we have is this, minus this, the number of telephone numbers for all the digits are unique, that would equal the number of seven digit phone numbers that have repeat numbers. I will say that have repeat digits. So, for example, this might be 537-8316. That digit is repeated, but up here this would never happen. We might have 537-8316. Eight seven one six. For example, there are no repeats here. And the way we get the number of unique seven-digit numbers is from this formula right here. So if we subtract this from the total number of telephone numbers that is possible, then that gives us the number of seven-digit phone numbers that you know are going to contain repeat digits. And we're not going to try and do this calculation. Obviously, it's going to be a large number. We just want to try to demonstrate the thinking and the strategy that would go into determining a formula as to how we could derive that number. And that is this right here. Okay, well, that's it for this video. But again, this problem sort of has several different components to it. To answer the first question, if these are the digits here that we're going to use to choose our telephone numbers with, then how many seven-digit telephone numbers can we create, then that's a permutation problem with repeats. And the answer to that is 10 to the 7. If we ask how many phone numbers can we create from these digits, where there are no repeats in these seven digits, each one is a unique number, that is what this gives us. Because here we have ten numbers, ten distinct numbers, and we're going to select seven different ones. So this would give us a seven-digit telephone number where there is no repeat in there. Here then, if we subtract this number, from the total number that's possible, then that gives us the number of seven-digit telephone numbers that will have repeat digits. Okay, hope you found that useful. Uh, come back, join us for the next video, and we'll try and solve some more permutation problems.